So I intend to reduce rural crime across Dorset. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to bring in a new innovation called Country Watch. My name is David Sidwick, Police and Crime Commissioner candidate for Dorset. Uh, welcome to Bright Ideas with me, Matthew Scott, a new YouTube channel for policy ideas and innovation. I'm really pleased to be joined by my friend David, who's going to be talking to us about rural crime in a moment. But please remember to subscribe to these videos, click on the button below and press on the bell notification so you get them in your feed uh, first. And remember to like these videos as well and support the pitches uh, that you like. Uh, David, thanks for joining us and it's over to you. Thank you. I'm Dave Sidwick and I'm the Police and Crime Commissioner candidate for Dorset. And the big idea is something that I've termed Country Watch. Dorset is a split county. We've got this vibrant city by the sea, which is Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. And most of the county, though, is rural, with a tapestry of farms, villages and market towns. Now, Country Watch will be a cloak of protection for the rural county. Last year, we had a 30% increase in rural crime, so it's badly needed. So this will be a holistic approach, bringing together the police, the council and the community. But the difference is it's going to be risk driven. So we're going to look at the levels of risk of crime, antisocial behaviour and road safety, and then tailor different solutions for different communities. This will remove the one size fits all approach, which means that everybody will feel protected. So if we get this right, what we will have is prevention back on the agenda and a community focused, robust, visible police presence, truly meeting the needs of the people of Dorset. Well done, David. That's a fantastic idea. Um, you mentioned that you would take a risk based approach to this programme. What sort of risks will you be looking at? Will you be looking at the harm done to businesses, the, the crime levels? How will you identify what those risks are? Well, we, we've obviously got crime data already, which we'll be looking at. Um, I've taken as a candidate a very sort of holistic approach from the point of view of talking to the residents of Dorset. Uh, and that is not only a resident survey, but it's also a business survey. We hadn't had one in Dorset before. So this, this is an innovation. Now, obviously, if I get in the post, then I will be able to take this data and actually um, increase it. So we have this as an added backup to what we've already got. But we can look at road safety data, which we'll have. We can look at antisocial behaviour data from the council, which we'll have. And we can look at the crime data plus the resident surveys. So we should have a wealth of data in order to map, if you like, tiers of risk. And would you be looking to use some of the extra police officers that Dorset will be getting uh, to help facilitate this programme? Yes, absolutely. There's actually nine or 10 different solutions which are mapped out according to what level of risk in each community. And I've already stated very publicly that I want the uplift to go to the neighborhood policing team and the rural crime team. And let, let me just explain why. Um, in Dorset at the moment, we have three really good rural crime team officers, but I've mapped across the country who's got what. And for example, Julia Mulligan, um, in North Yorkshire has 21 in their rural crime team. And I'm sorry, that's a huge disparity. So to me, it is absolutely certain we're going to make the rural crime team that much stronger. Um, but we also need it in the neighbourhood policing teams as well. And the integration between those two is also vital. How will you harness the support of local authorities? Because as you say, this is a a real partnership and sometimes it can be difficult to build those relationships and get the buy-in from other partners. How will you uh, encourage them to take part in this scheme? Well we're already um, partly down the route um, because I've been campaigning for two years. I've sat down with the portfolio holder for example for community safety for this area. Um, I've talked about rural crime on every agenda I possibly can and I've spoken to the leader of the council about uh, the concept of increasing the new neighbourhood policing team, the rural crime team, and bringing better solutions to address rural crime. Um, there are some other innovations that I'd like to bring. For example, I'd like to look at the concept of parish constables the, and, and liaise those in with the local parish councils. I'd like to bring something which I'm terming Dorset deputies. 
So this would be a mounted volunteer um, operation, somewhat similar to that, that in Sussex with the Sussex Rangers. But it's also about the community, Matthew. There is a piece where the community can help as well. So let me give you an example, which is fraud, especially with the elderly and the vulnerable. I've already started dialogues with um, third parties, not part of the police, not part of the council, about whether they can give volunteers who can actually go in and talk to the elderly about online fraud. And I'm getting a very good reception with that. And I think there is also something more that we can do around burglary prevention. The real trick will be to take the volunteer piece, however that works, the community piece and the police and stitch it together, which is why nothing will actually substitute for a visible police presence. And whether that is a mobile stand every so often in the larger villages, or whether it is we actually have a mobile police station, um, and I'm also looking at other rural police stations and what the possibilities are there. So this whole thing is a map which stitches together it will obviously depend on resource, but it is about mapping the risk and then putting something in which the people can see visibly. And finally, what will success look like? Um, how do you see this impacting upon people's lives? Will it be the reduction of crime in the, in the crime data uh, or, or some other measure? What will success look like? It will certainly be reduction of crime and antisocial behaviour in the crime data. I'll be looking for that. I suspect that initially that will actually go up because there'll be more people looking and seeing and reporting. But I would, I would see that as a success, that going down. Um, but more importantly, it's actually what people feel like. It is actually what the surveys say. You know, do you feel safer? And that to me is actually the holy grail, if you like. If we can get the Dorset residents to feel safer at the end of my term of office, then I'll have done my job. Very good. Well, David, thank you very much for your pitch uh, and for your really interesting idea. Remember, everybody, you need to like David's video if you support this policy and show him your support. Again, subscribe to get these videos in your feed first and press on the bell notification button so you get notified when they come in. David, I wish you every success uh, in Dorset and with your particularly interesting plan. Uh, very best of luck. Well, Matthew, and the same to you.